to Super Reaction Bros. I'm Chris. I'm Chris. And on today's episode, we're taking a look at the official Netflix show for the new Netflix original series, Warrior Nun. Now, by the time our reaction comes out, this will have already premiered the day before. Yeah, so, by the time this trailer came out, we kind of missed it, and that's where we're grabbing it now. But we do want to still bring it up. Uh, it's uh, based off a graphic novel. Uh, one of the co writers on it is David Hayter. Ooh. Yes. Cool. Uh, for you who are unaware, not only is he like the original voice of um, Solid, Solid Snake, Snake from Better Solid. Solid, but he did help with the original X-Men movies. Yeah, I know that. I remember that. The original X-Men movies, he did help with all of that. But he's one of the writers on this, and our, the main guy writing all of this has worked on other um, more sci-fi channel-style stuff like the Van Helsing series and Continuum. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, it's, like I said, it's based off a graphic novel called Warrior Nun. It's uh, b basic premise is that woman wakes up with a divine artifact, and now she's caught in the middle of the war between. Hey, yeah, and yeah, and yeah, it was like a divine artifact that's actually placed on her back, if I'm correct. Yeah. And now it's like now she joins this covenant or something like that that battles evil in a way. Yes. That's what that's what we're dealing with. And so, as of yesterday, it officially uh, debuted on Netflix. So. As of this recording. As of this recording. Uh, but let's dive into this for the official Netflix trailer, The Warrior Nun. So here we go. All needs to see all this. That'll be Xena Warrior Nun. <laughs> yeah, Xena Warrior Nun. No shit, I will not be surprised Lucy all this shows up. Well, that would be cool. Yeah, Anyways, no, here we go. <laughs> Sarah back is technically an artifact tied to Angel's Halo. How did our greatest weapon against evil end up in an unbeliever? The hell is a gift. You're God's champion. It will enhance whatever natural abilities you already possess. Whoa. Ladies and gentlemen, we're entering a new era of enlightenment. Ah, here we go, villain. Does exist. As I discover the gateway to it. After life oh. exists. People have tried to make me into something I'm not. Whoa! Holy shit! Shotgun Mary. So this, this, I'm getting two vibes from this trailer. I'm getting the chosen one, none, Eastern or organization fighting, you should yeah. martial arts shotgun. That's really cool. Then on the other end, I'm getting something I would see on Freeform. Yeah, I think if I read correctly, they had they decided to tone it down a bit to give it that more like a teen vibe because if I'm correct you, in the no, really? no, no, as you can tell no. in here. But in the graphic, because I know in the graphic novel, it's like more, a little bit serious, a little bit more hardcore, a little bit. Yeah. When it comes to like, yeah, you can, what happens, you know, because even in the picture, the graphic novel picture, you find a Wikipedia. Yeah, now that you say that, and back when I'm going, there's no fucking way that's directly from the graphic novel. They no. did some, they took they, some liberties. They grabbed it, it looks like they grabbed it, but they wanted to, they tried to, they tried to ground it a bit where it made more sense. So, of like a full so, grown. Oh, go on, go on, sorry. Like a full grown woman, it's like, we're going to get this young teenager. 
working with other young So teenagers. wait, in the graphic novel, was it like the chosen one like a young adult or is it a teenager? I think it was I think it was a, a young adult pretty much. That's what it was. You know, but here they're changing it up to where they'll, they're they're still giving it the you know that you know which like good effects, badass, you know, looks like badass some of the badass fight scenes, but also you know just they're, they're turning it down a little bit just so then people could enjoy it. I guess I don't. That's how I, how I see it. Eh, there's stuff to I don't you know I'm not and I'm not saying it looks bad when I say oh half of it looks like it comes from yeah. freeform. Because originally originally it was I forgot which studio but they bought. Uh, which, uh, wait, I forgot which studio bought the rights. I think it was originally Netflix, and was originally supposed to be turned into a regular film. Like, they wanted to start a new franchise, but then it looked like somebody decided to change it, going, this is turned this into a series. Yeah, if you said this was a film, I would have not been surprised. Yeah. Like, the way the trailer played out, it looked like everything happens in the movie. Yeah, but mm-hmm. here, like I said, they decided to turn it into a regular series. So, that, 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 yeah. That prolong it. Okay, but, okay, that all that freeform-ish stuff aside, um, what'd you think? It seems interesting, to be honest. It looks cool. I love watching supernatural type of stuff as long as there's a really good, solid twist to it, where it like, makes it different or stand out amongst the others. So basically, nuns get souped up with these art part of the secret angel, and they get souped up with these artifacts uh, that are apparently tied to Angel's actual halos. That's what it seems like. Um, and they're fighting supernatural beings or stuff that disturbs the balance. Which in this case we saw is somebody who apparently has found a way to, to the afterlife to uh, and to, uh, create a portal to the afterlife. Yeah. Which is probably why a lot of these things are coming out more often right now because they they're experimenting things like that. Um, yeah. Um, it seems interesting. Like I said, would, would you add it to your list to watch? Not right away, but maybe later or no? Maybe. I, I think mean, it's a maybe for me. I guess I would have to wait to see what people say about it. Um, even by the time you guys watch this. Of course, let us know what you guys saw in the trailer, but if you've already seen it, no spoilers, and what do you think of it? That's, that's yeah, I, you know, there, there's stuff I like, like Shotgun Mary was cool. Yeah. <laughs> but I there, a lot. I liked, I liked a couple of the characters, and we saw some familiar faces actors-wise. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, yeah, I mean, maybe down the road. I'll add to my list, but it would probably be a while for so we'll start watching it. Probably, yeah. oh, I guess we can do our little rating thing, like, like uh, first three episodes... Watch it immediately, or wait till it gets picked up for a second season. What say you? Hmm. I would have to say second season. Same here, because I know our father liked that zombie one, Daybreak, but that guy can. That guy can after the, this first season. There's just some shows that so far have only lasted one season on Netflix, so I guess let's just see where it goes, especially if there are right. that many fans. I'll forward. wait. Yeah, I will wait till. Yeah, I'll be a second season on this as well. Yeah. So, uh, other than that, if you're new to the channel, you can hit the like button. If you want to talk to us more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like us just a little bit more than anybody else when it comes to talking about nuns being warriors and Netflix original series, hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon as well. Like I said before, if you guys have not seen this trailer, it's the first time watching with us, what are your guys' initial reaction to it? You know, does it look like it's interesting, something you wouldn't mind checking out? Um... Yeah, was it, if it's already if you already started watching it, what are you guys' thoughts on it without any spoilers? Is it something uh, uh, interesting that you we should watch or take a look at? And also for any of those who, who are fans of the graphic novel for Warrior Nun, what are you guys' initial reactions to it? Um, if we got any of the information wrong from the trailer, or if they got some information wrong or they changed it, you know, probably be cool to know. Let us know. Like I said, we're not experts on when it comes to. Stuff like this, especially graphic novels. Um, but let us know in the comments down below. Put down what you thought of our reaction as well. But most importantly, thank you for watching. So until next time, I'm Chris. And I'm Chris. And of course, this has been a very Warrior Nun filled episode of SRB. See you later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out our previous reactions or any one of our other SRB shows, check out one of our playlists down below. And if you want to check us out in the social universe, you can find us on Twitter and Stardust at Super React Bros.